a couple of field leaders. Um, the first one is Sunshower Rose, and she's going to introduce our special guest health practitioner tonight. Hi, Sunshower. Hey, Gregory. I hey. just love that presentation. It gets better every time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'll yeah. turn it over to you and to the good doctor. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Hey. Before I actually bring Dr. Lewin on to speak, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. So Dr. Pamela Lewin is a recently retired family physician of 54 years. That's incredible right there. This woman does not, <laughs> does not look like she could have been in practice 30 years. She's a lover of music, poetry, and writing for children. She's the co-founder of a clinic for the underserved in her city in Florida. Here's something that she likes to say. Being retired as a doctor and still being able to help hundreds of people in their quest for wellness is a win-win for me. And now we have Dr. Pamela Lou Win. <laughs> Hi, Sunshine. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. It's so good to see you. So, you know, with that youth renewal, as Gregory was just talking about, I joined this business group recently. And they introduced me and I came up to them and I said, I am Dr. Lewin and I'm here to euthanize you. <laughs> of course, after the collective gasp, I had to tell them it's Y-O-U-T-H-E-N-I-Z-E. -E. <laughs> I'm here to make you younger and to tell you how you can regain your youth. And of course, <laughs> I had fun with it, but I'm sure that they were really surprised. <laughs> well, the fun part is, is a big part of this. We need to have fun in this business. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it feels like a disservice if we don't tell people, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I enjoy doing that. After all these years, you can imagine I've prescribed a ton of medication for my patients. You know, it, being an allopathic doctor, that's what you do. You really don't know very much more than that. So I was excited when I saw this technology because I realized that when you give medications, they are set to... Um, work on symptom notology, basically, you know, you have a symptom, you get the medication. I've actually had a patient come to me with like 26 different medications oh one for each symptom. Oh More my. than one. She was taking two or three of the same and didn't know it. But by the way, have you ever noticed that the more medications a patient is on, the sicker they are? <laughs> so it seems. <laughs> I don't know which comes first, the, the meds are the med of the the, the, the sickness. But anyway, so it was really exciting for me to find this technology, which will help them at the root cause of what it is, because the root cause is aging. Aging is a, is a disease, if you want to call it that. And what we treat is all the symptoms of aging, which come with itis at the end of them, most of them, you know what I mean? We don't deal with diagnoses because our bodies are miracles and are meant to rejuvenate themselves if given a little chance you know so we are able to we we make 300 billion new cells every single day and we knock off as many that are no good you know and so if we have the right signals the right raw materials and the right energy we are able to make good new cells and our bodies replace themselves almost totally within the course of about seven years. So this is what we're after. We're able to get you to refresh yourself from the outside in and the inside out. So um, were you referred to LifeWave through another doctor or a friend or how did that happen? Actually, I was in another business with Connie Lucas. And she was the one who actually brought this to me. And at the time, that company had gone bye-bye and many of us were looking for something else to do. So I was approached by another high-ranking person in that company to do something else. And then here came Connie, who I knew and trusted, and said, you have to look at this. And I said, okay. And she says, do you think that's really you know, what we should be after? And she said, oh, yes, I recommend it. And the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. So if it weren't for Connie taking the time and caring enough to share this with you, you wouldn't even be here talking with us today. Yeah. <laughs> We're so lucky to have you. Um, That's right. So, so um, tell me, is there something specific that worked for you at 39 on a certain part of the body for something for you? 39, it, it wasn't dramatic, but at first I noticed I was sleeping better. You know, the the having to get up two, three times at night is very disruptive for your sleep. And so I found out that 
I was able to sleep through the night initially. And then I had been, um, I, during COVID, I, I joined the year of COVID, right? So um, this was late in the year, like about August. But th all through that year, I had been doing all these jigsaw puzzles at home because, you know, you had to be home, not going anywhere. And I had injured my thumb. And so one thumb was much bigger than the other. And I found out that having worn the, the patch after a while, the inflammation in the thumb went away and I was able to use it. So much so I play pickleball. I can do lots of other things right now with it. And no pain, no swelling. I really was happy about that. How wonderful. You play pickleball? My goodness. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're beating the 20 year olds too, huh? I do play with 20 year olds. And I realize that, you know, some of them, I mean, yes, of course, it depends on how much you play, how often you play and everything. But yeah, I keep up with them and I win some and I lose some. But you know, the quality of your life is really like a seesaw, damage and repair. And right now, I think my, my body is in better shape than it was 10 years ago. Oh. Because as soon as things arise, we're, they're being repaired. Our, our patches help us to upregulate these peptides, which are repair molecules in our bodies. And they're like our first responders. You know, whenever there's an accident out there, here comes the ambulance, here come the, the cops, everybody, to try and take care of whatever is wrong with the people. And so here come these peptides which upregulate our stem cells and because stem cells made us they can fix us and that's what i usually say any it doesn't matter what the disease process is the fact that they made us is they can fix us they're stem cells that can make more stem cells or they can make any tissue any organ any system in the body and so as long as you're able to repair as soon as you damage yourself then you're constantly in a state of renewal and that's basically what we're all after you know wow. because again it's like a seesaw damage and repair and you want to push down on the damage side push up on the repair side and manage that balance keep us in, in balance that's what and the about. patches just seem to do that for us huh? they do they really do yeah and so how about um water intake does that help those yeah. patches work yes you do have to have enough water and they recommend that you drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day because mm -hmm. it's a matter of movement of energy we're beings of energy and the energy is flowing in our bodies and so like you know using a battery the, the, the example of a battery you have the ions flowing from the negative to the positive our energy moves in our body we need to have that hydration but not only that we need to eat the right food we need to cut down on sugars which is very inflammatory eat more fiber, protein, get more um, of the things that are building our body, and then cut down on the things that are inflammatory, like the wrong kinds of fats, sugars. And then sleep. We want to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep a night. And then the more sleep you get before midnight, for every hour you sleep before midnight, it's worth like two hours after midnight. So go to bed earlier and wake up earlier if necessary. I've just know. started that and it's wonderful. And then movement. You have to get a little bit of movement going and some exercise. And the recommendation is half an hour, five days a week, you know, totally just on a consistent basis. And then also consistently wear your patches because those are the ones that are going to enable you to work out and not get too tired or not to get too achy. That used to happen to me before. Whenever I, I would come back from playing, oh my goodness, yeah, I just dived into the sofa and the bed and <laughs> <laughs> achy and, and, and stiff, you know, all yeah. day. But now I come back and I feel like I can clean house. I can go out in the yard and do stuff. And, and you know, for my, my eight decades of having been on this earth, I... <laughs> Wow. I'm feeling pretty good, you know. Oh, you sound good and look good. You're just gorgeous <laughs> and you're on the pickleball court how many times a week? Yeah, I would recommend it for anybody. I'll tell you the truth, yeah. So let me just ask you one final question. Um, so is there any contraindications for people whether or not they should wear the X39? Well, let's put it this way. The company would not recommend that you use the patches while you're 
taking any kind of immune suppressant, like when you have a organ transplant, or should you be undergoing chemotherapy, as in you know dealing with some rogue cells? And so, as far as that is concerned, the two are butting heads. We are upregulating your immunity, and that one is trying to downplay your immunity. So it is a no-brainer that they wouldn't want you to use it at that time. However, there are people I know who have had transplants many years ago and who are no longer taking immune suppressants and use the patches with very good results. So although I am not saying that you must do that because I'm not your doctor and I can't say, you know, what is supposed to be done for you personally, check with your own physician about this. But I'm just saying that I think the patches, there's nothing that goes into the skin or into the body, but a frequency of light. And therefore there's nothing into in there that's going to interfere with anything that you might be taking whether medication or other treatments so from that standpoint it can be used both on people who have had these illnesses and these medications and children and pets and that sort of thing that's for sure our pets love them too yeah they do and they get all frisky and like kittens and puppies that's and- <laughs> right that's absolutely right but the kids are our pets they feel yeah rejuvenated. yeah our pets are like our kids yeah definitely well you thank you so much it. for taking time out of your busy schedule Dr. my Kim. pleasure thank you for hosting it's very nice to see you and it was great to meet you again in person at conference look forward to seeing you again this time yeah, yeah look forward to seeing you soon bye bye, bye dear. Well, thank you dr pam thank you sunshine thank you. that was wonderful and i'm sure all of our listeners learned a lot from you too